Hello everyone and welcome to my channel IELTS Daily Tips. In this video, I will be talking about how to introduce yourself in the IELTS speaking test. I have made a video on this topic earlier as well. So here I come with some new ideas how to introduce yourself in the IELTS speaking test. During your IELTS speaking exam, you will get a few opportunities where you will have the time to speak freely and show your English language skills. Introducing yourself is one such opportunity that you can use in your favor by demonstrating to the examiner that you can make beautiful sentences using English. You need to keep in mind that you have to make the best possible use of each opportunity where you can speak a few senten sentences and participate in the conversation. For example, imagine that you are walking towards the room where, you are, where your all speaking test will be held and the examiner opens the door for you. Now here, do not use single words to greet the examiner by saying hello or hi. Make a couple of good sentences and use this opportunity in your favor. For example, you can say, when meeting the examiner while entering the room, you can say example one, hello sir ma'am, my name is, you, you just tell your full name, how are you doing today? The second way of saying it is, how are you doing today, sir, ma'am? My name is, your full name, and I am here for my IELTS speaking test. The other way is, good to meet you, sir, ma'am. I am here for my IELTS speaking test. My name is, your full name, and hope you are doing good. Now, you, you can see that there are multiple ways to start the conversation with the examiner when you first meet him or her. This will not just help you greet the examiner in a nice way, but also give a hint to the examiner that you're confident when using English language. Now let's discuss how will you introduce yourself during the speaking test. After you enter the room and the examiner asks you to take a seat, he or she will give their introduction and start the test recording. After that, you will be asked to introduce yourself. Now where, what you need to keep in mind is that you should make at least four to five sentences while introducing yourself. I will give you a few examples on how to make these sentences. But before that, let's see what you should cover in your introduction. There are no hard and fast rules to introduce yourself during the IELTS exams, but it's always good to create a template for yourself so that you do not get stuck while speaking. So the template one way of uh, introducing yourself is, my name is, here you will tell your full name, I am, suppose you are 27 years old, you can say I am 27 years old. My current city of residence is, you have to tell where you reside, suppose that you live in Chandigarh. But I'm, I originally come from, uh, you can tell like you are from Ludhiana. I graduated, post-graduated from, you can tell the name of your college and the year. Suppose you graduated in 2007, you can say it's in 2007. I currently work as a, you can tell your designation. Suppose you work as an administrative officer. So you can say that. And also you can tell the name of a company. Suppose you work in a software company or uh, and the name of the company is Telecom. So for example, Telecom, you can say I work as an administrative officer at Telecom. And in total, I have close to, suppose you are working there from last 10 years, you can say you have a 10 years of experience. And then in my free time, I love to read I love reading books and online blogs. Now, the other way of giving the introduction is, you can say, hello, sir, ma'am. My name is, your full name. And I turned 24 last month. I have always loved working on computers and therefore I have decided to get a degree in computer engineering. And now I feel that I have truly made my hobby into my profession. I was born in, can tell suppose you were born in Chandigarh, but then then I migrate then, then migrated to Canada for my education at the age of you can say 22 or 21, whatever it is. I have been working as a you have to tell your designation at the name of the company and the year. I spent my free time reading books and online blogs from where I gather a lot of wisdom on daily basis. So some of the important points you should keep in mind when introducing yourself. You have to keep in mind that the flow in which you're presenting the information, 
the information you are providing, the way you are connecting all this information, and how you are beginning each sentence. So these are the four things you should keep in mind when you are writing or when you are introducing yourself during during the IELTS speaking test. Now the English grammar concepts to use in self introduction are try to make composite sentences rather than the simple ones. Use connecting words in your sentences. So these connecting words are very important. These are important in the writing test as well, and also in the speaking module. So make good use of linking words or connecting words. Although it's a good approach to prepare your introduction beforehand, but keep in mind that you do not want to give the impression that you are just you are just crammed these sentences so that you sound better. Language mixed with expressions. always give you be best results i will be covering more ideas about al speaking in my future videos if you are benefited from this video then please consider subscribing to my channel by doing so you will get a notification whenever i upload my new videos on my channel best wishes for your als exam bye